It must be really nice to like you know leave your shithole small town. Your dad hates you because you're gay. Mm-hmm. You leave with pennies in your pocket. Mm-hmm. You know. You start how was it? Arriving. How was that to have yeah. that happen? You get on a and you're like, ooh, all my pennies. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, finally, I can go be gay with I all can my go pennies. Kiss my pennies and suck a guy's <laughs> penis. You know. You arrive. You see the Statue of Liberty. You're on the boat. You're on the Staten Island. You're in the Staten Island. Island. You come from Staten Island. Yeah. <laughs> you see Lady Liberty. Wow. You know it's safe. I'm gonna suck mm-hmm. so much fucking. And you look over. You lean over to the Italian, the immigrant pet. Italian family next to you and you're looking at the statue you say wouldn't it be great if instead it was a guy and you could see his dick <laughs> and they're like and they're like I'm oh, sorry our father is uh, mentally retarded he yeah. only uh, he can only make a beepy boopy noises he's retarded from uh, uh, catching uh, uh, HIV <laughs> really? and it's destroyed his brain. <laughs> wow, well, oh, you get really? it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we're European. Everyone has yeah, HIV. Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in Europe has HIV. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gay continent. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, we c- we came to America to escape mm-hmm. the gay continent. The gay continent. Yeah. And here we are. Now there's a big statue with a penis out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I bet you. I bet you. You let you let those Democrats run wild. They're gonna do that. They're mm-hmm. absolutely. They're will. gonna put. They're gonna keep it a lady and just give her a penis. Give her a cock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, which I'm, secretly her face always a little. You know. A little it really stink. should be. They, they should replace kind of. the Statue of Liberty with that a bigger version of the Defiant Girl statue. Uh huh. But she's, she's got, got a, a dick, and dick. it's hard, and it's pointing. Yeah. Mm. And it says go. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So it's trans, but yeah. it's anti-immigrant. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, it's pointing towards Europe. Right. Yeah. And then the ass is pointing towards Mexico, and it says, come on in. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. It says, uh, bienvenidos a mi asshole. <laughs> it's kind of Bienvenidos a mi culo. <laughs> I mean, it could be pointing yeah, towards but, Mexico, but, but it's in New on, York. On the it. statue, <laughs> that, uh, coming out of the ass... <laughs> Is a Hot Wheels racetrack with the loop de loop. Yeah. And then that goes to like an outline of Mexico gotcha. that's a part gotcha. of the statue. Gotcha. So okay. they're, they're sort of been, it looks like the copper tone girl. Yes. But with a big dick pointing to Europe that uh-huh. says, um, fuck off Europeans. Fuck off what? Yeah. Fuck off Northern Europeans. Right. Yeah. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. Achtung. <laughs> Achtung, verboten. Uh, and I agree. Yeah. Fuck off, Northern Schaden Europeans. Yeah, Schaden, Schaden, Hausen, Beigelen, Wager, Du, Beigelen, Wager. Who do they think they are to do the Holocaust and then have 43 letter words that mean a feeling? Great. Screw them. Great you know? point. Piss what, do you, off. what do you mean? <laughs> Maybe what? they're so emotionally intelligent that they could they, understand. Oh, yeah, what, they're emotionally intelligent? What, what, why it became necessary. No, they. <laughs> no. Come on. I don't think no, that's No, I mean, right. look. It's not right. Whales, are, whales have more emotional intelligence than humans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. They do. And guess. They sing those sad songs when they don't get pussy. <laughs> I think like they that. want krill or something. No, they're sad they don't get pussy. Yeah. There's a lonely whale that was singing that song, and it wasn't me, by the way, Nick. Chill out. Not and whales are either. whales are often <laughs> anti-Semitic. <laughs> or, no, they're not. Yeah, yeah, they are instinctively. They are. They know better. That's bullshit. No, they they've really never are. even met Jews. Yeah, no, well, they, they know are. about the Dead Sea. They know about the water, and they're like, why is, what's, why is this sea... The only place in the world that's uninhabitable for whales. Mm-hmm. Well, checkmate. That's actually a Palestinian sea. So, oh, so now it's Palestine. Checkmate, now so, it's, oh, yeah, now, so now, when now when it fucking benefits us. Now when it benefits us, it's Palestine. Now you're okay. being, now you're being uh, the opposite of well, free Palestine. Maybe you need to take that up with the whales because I, they're, I, you can't explain it to them. They're an advanced species. I know. They're extraterrestrial. Mm-hmm. I do but fucking. I don't, you know, it would be funny if, up with if aliens existed. Yeah. Right. Like, like the Prometheus aliens or whatever, and they come to Earth, and like there's this whole thing. They're like, what are the aliens going to say? Mm-hmm. And they're like a hyper intelligent intergalactic travel or whatever. Mm-hmm. But they're also, they're they're also they have a very sort of a dark sense of humor, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like. Uh, the you need to get rid of the Jews, and then they went, then they awesome. went back into space. <laughs> 
They that just, would honestly and be then hilarious. They just, laugh. just to confuse, just to us. see what happens. Yeah, yeah just to see Social what happens. Social experiment. Yeah, like they were watching and they were like, "Man, this Hitler guy almost that that would have been kind of the end of the the world." Mm-hmm. What if we went and were like, "Oh yeah, that was the thing you should," and then they leave. They leave, come back in like a hundred years, forget about us and shit. Yeah. They're like, "Oh, oh, we fuck. were fucking around." <laughs> mm-hmm. Psych, psych, psych. Mm-hmm. People would run with it if aliens said it. I wouldn't listen to I don't to think anybody would do aliens. anything. I think no. we'd be like, well, those aliens are anti Semites. Mm-hmm. We'd I have to know. read, we'd have to spend 100 years reading articles about how aliens are anti Semites. Yeah, that's true. I think there's a couple people that are on the edge mm-hmm. of getting, they just need getting, the aliens. getting part two going. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> if aliens, what honestly, was that literally. <laughs> Stop just did a wink at me. <laughs> if aliens came... Just a little warning, Adam. Just a little, I don't know about a warning. If aliens came to <laughs> it was Earth... almost flirtation. If aliens came to Earth... <laughs> and fucking... Yeah. And, and came here yes. and, like, let's say blew up, you know, whatever they did. Mm-hmm. Like, Independence Day. Yeah. 100%, without a doubt, you we would have to read an article. You wouldn't have to read it, but there would be an article about how aliens invading is rooted in white supremacy. <laughs> I I think that's someone would find maybe there'd be some yeah alien supremacy versus humanity. No, it wouldn't even be thought out. So it would be like white people are the problem here. Yes. (laughs) Okay. Somehow (laughs) the reaction, the response, the Prometheus aliens. Yeah. Do you think it would galvanize us? Like an Independence Day? What's galvanized mean? Do you mean glaze or perhaps (laughs) covered in some sort of like hard caramel? A sprinkle, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't. But. Sprinkled? I guess hard caramel is a, is the closest thing to galvanize. Yeah. Because it is a thing. It's like a hardened. Well, we'd have to choose so when you, one. When you say galvanize, you're imagining peanut brittle. Right? No, you were doing that. And you're thinking of maybe. I am, I am oh, using damn. a I very peanut normal word that means to fucking bring people together and mm-hmm. harden, which is rooted in whatever the fuck no, happens you're, with you're steel. Already, you're at Auntie Anne's in your head. I am not. You've you're having at fan- Auntie Anne's way more than me. You're, having a, you're at Auntie Anne's. You're fantasizing about waiting in line. I, why would that be part of the fantasy? Because then you get to build up the anticipation. Okay, spoken like a guy who remembers when he was fat and killed the fat boy inside of him. Uh-huh, but okay? he still rages And he's on. still, he's trying to fucking, f- wow, fucking this, pound his little fat fist. Like, fat boy just wants to come out. Just wants to come out. Every day the fat, <laughs> little fat gay kid with the bowl cut wa- is trying to come this out of This sounds like projection to me. Not at all. Yeah. I am 100% He is happy. embracing his inner fat kid. I have been the fat, the, the little fat kid has the control. Rolls in my no. body. What are yeah. you talking Somebody about? Somebody sat on him years ago and no. he died. <laughs> no, you've locked the little fat boy in a cage. Mine's got the fu- it's at the top of the brain. He's pushing all the buttons. No, I just learned moderation and now I can eat. I can go to Auntie Anne's whenever I want. No, no chance. No, I do. Maybe if, once if, a year. If that bodega had mint, if didn't have had some kind of non mint Milanos, you would have eaten the entire bag in point two seconds. Of course, because uh, why not? That's not what moderation is. Yeah, but I only do that maybe once every three or four months. No, we no, did that like know, last month true. when Adam wasn't here. Yeah, and I won't do it again for another two or three months. <laughs> you would have if you just By started. virtue of them only having the mint Milano cookies. <laughs> oh, so you stock the bodega with mint Milano so I that don't you won't have stock access the, to no. them. You stock uh, no, ch- chicken stock. That sounds good. It's Chicken's healthy, high in protein. Chicken stock. And I like to sip it. It tastes good. And then you good. put Nesquik in there. And you I don't do that. <laughs> Why would I? That sounds you're disgusting. Like, you're like, ooh, can I get my special chocolate milk? <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. Spe- it I wouldn't even be milk, dude. Special. It would be chicken stock. I'm chocolate <laughs> chicken stock. Ooh, girl. <laughs> why, would I, why, why would I be talking like a fat black lady? <laughs> girl. Dude, I, I was... Girl, <laughs> can I get my extra... <laughs> where, where am I ordering this from? <laughs> yeah. Can I get an orange soda and can I get my extra orange? <laughs> can I get my... Ooh... <laughs> Where would I be doing this? Uh, in your home. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes sense. I'm wearing fake nails. You're calling three one one. Ooh, what's up, girl? Girl, <laughs> can you turn? Can you make? Can you blend us some hot fire Cheetos and chicken stock in a Sprite <laughs> remix? <laughs> I'm trying to have. I that need my so fucking disgusting <laughs> all at once. 
Uh, they, uh, we call that secretary fuel. <laughs> That's what they put. An IV bag whenever yeah. a secretary's Girl, passed out. Can I get my secretary fuel? <laughs> oh, I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. I need, I need my, a coffee with 14 sugars in it. I need I need a Sprite remix <laughs> blended up with some chick, with some panko breadcrumbs, <laughs> some hot fire Cheetos, <laughs> a couple of cigarettes. <laughs> 